This is Cut Day, I'm Regis, and today I'm going to give you my top five reasons you should attend the HBCU game this fall. Let's get it. Uh. Some of the best guys to ever grace the field started right here at the HBCUs. Deacon Jones, you know, the guy who created the term sack, this is where he played. If you was a wide receiver, Mel Blunt, in front of you, bro, you might as well just know what, hey, we're going to have to fight. I'm about Walter Payton, bro. 200 pound running back who running people over like he 240. Walter Payton really was running people over and stepping on them. And you know, we can't bring up HBCUs without the GOAT. Jerry Rice. Bro, Jerry Rice gave the work to other Hall of Famers. So from a historical standpoint, why would you not go? That's just number five, man. Oh. Food, food, and more food. You don't like history? Okay. Hell, you don't even like football. All right. But that food, the food is universal, man. It's, it's a language that can speak to anybody. And you know I ain't no food like Southern food. It's seasoned right. You're not going to find raisins in the potato salad. Who y'all like? Who y'all like? Y'all like Gordon Ramsay, one of the best chefs, right? He couldn't cook out here. They running him off, like, get up out of here, buddy. The world loved the patty pies, right? Oh my gosh, patty pie, great, great, great. That pie wouldn't make it. That ain't top five pie out here. Some of the best food that you can ever get. You know where to find it at your local HBCUs on a Saturday. Why well, play around with it? Three. The number three reason that you should attend the HBCU game this fall is the bands. Out of this world, you've you've never seen a band performance until you've seen the HBCU band performance. Super Bowl contact HBCU bands to come out. Paris, France, yo, we need we need the bands to come over here. This is how you know it's true, right? During halftime, typically when you go get your snacks, you go get your drinks, you go use the restroom. Woo woo woo. Nah, not HBCUs. You go doing that during the quarters. At halftime, boy, you better be watching that show. Because they about to snap. After what you done already paid for, you get extra in the fifth quarter. So hold on, let's just recap. So on a Saturday afternoon, you're getting history, great food, and great music? Those just the top three, we not even. You can't get this type of experience anywhere else. Elite bands, elite food, elite history. Be there. Get there, dog. Make sure you there. Two. The number two reason that I'm personally counting on you to go to an HBCU game this year is all of the elite talent coming in, man. And that's already there. Yo, Travis Hunter is at Jackson State, Isaiah Atlanta, Florida AM. All the new quarterbacks, bro, it's really like, you get a five star, you get a four star, you get a four star, you get a four star. Talent, everybody's talent level just rising. And then super teams starting to form. Southern's D-line, Valley, Rankin, Johnson. You go down to Alabama State, and they still got Urshad Davis. Big dog Urshad, man. So every team got somebody that's worthy to come see. Somebody that can draw a crowd. Somebody that has the talent. And if you like electric players, electro, fam, you got you. They, they in Florida, they got some of the best Florida speed you gonna find. Bethune, Kamari Everett, the 6'6 monster, bro. He is straight up manhandling linebackers, DBs, snagging one hand, he's that. Why would you not go and see him? If for no other reason, do it for vanity purpose. Don't you like to know stuff that other people just don't know? I want to know about this star tight end that Bethune have, so I'm going to go see him. So all my buddies talking about, oh, this draft guy, this draft boy, come on, everybody. Oh, you never heard of him? <laughs> you can always hit him with the, you don't know football. Put something in your football mind that your peers not going to do. They're not going to go to HBCU game. You do it. Give yourself the one up, man. Cause it's a movement. When? The number one reason that you should attend a HBCU game this fall is because it's your people. Just think about it for a second. Where else can you go on a weekly basis, 12 weeks, 13 weeks straight this fall? 
and see 30,000, 20,000, 10,000, 50,000, 60,000 people that look just like you. The older crowd out there, the younger crowd out there, and it's like everybody just understands what's going on. It's camaraderie. Everybody coming up, hey, you wanna play? You hungry? You want something to eat? Where you from? The biggest network of black professionals in the world derived from HBCUs. So if you're not into the game, you're not into food, not into culture, be into self-advancement. You can rub elbows with some of the most powerful people in entertainment, some of the most powerful people in sports, some of the most powerful people in politics. Where can you find that? Hey man, hey subscribers, let, let these folks know other reasons they should come to HBCU games, you know, stuff I left out, stuff I overlooked. Do that for me, handle that. Thank y'all so much. Y'all know what it is, man. Cut day out.